We are now going to discuss the concept of variable waypoints, which as I mentioned is the critical, is a critical concept going forward. So variable waypoints are poses using a variable assignment or script node. It's basically the definition of a reference frame. Uh, in Polyscope, it's defined with this P brackets and then it's X, Y, Z, and then the rotational X, Y, and Z. They are defined in meters for the position and in radians as the rotation vector. Um, and if the TCP is purposely defined and the orientation of a plane uh, is also purposely defined, then typically the rotation will be left as zeros. So in the next section, we're gonna cover how to implement this in Polyscope. Okay, so in the last video, we defined uh, the concept of a variable waypoint, and now we're gonna show how to actually implement that in Polyscope. As I mentioned, this can be done in two ways. Uh, the first will be through an assignment variable. So uh, you can rename this to P1. Um, and then that assignment variable can then be set to a pose and that is set using the brackets like this and you define uh, six zeros because it's the rotation. So we have one, two, three, six zeros. So that will be a position. This same thing can be done in script. So I can say, uh, P2 equals P, um, and then same thing. Okay, perfect. So these can both be uh, ways that you assign a pose. And now how do you actually use this? So in order to use this, you do it inside of a move or obviously in script code. So inside of a move, it will look like this. So let's say we do a linear move. And if we do a linear move, we can say, well, relative, this is a position relative to what feature. And, and we will talk about how to move relative to the base, the tool and, and a feature. But so in this concept, let's, uh, you know, we have this sketch uh, rotated plane, which matches the, the plane that you see there in the video. And if you do that now, and um, you say here instead for the waypoint, instead of being some waypoint that you define, we will say variable position, and we will choose our P1. Uh, so we will choose our P1 variable. So notice here that the P2 doesn't show up because it's in script code. So it's probably better that you define your positions. Unless you're going to use it in script code, it's better that you use them as uh, variable assignments. So you say P1, and here we're gonna choose, you know, some 100 and uh, let's say here 300 for the acceleration. And so if we run this program right now, right, we, we're gonna run it and you will notice, so again, here for the TCP, we have our TCP that we've set before. So this is, you know, uh, and then we have our feature that is the sketch rotated feature. So if we move here and we say play, right, it's gonna move right to the origin of that plane. Uh, and what can be really handy here is that if we now wanna move to the corner of the first uh, blue rectangle, um, we know that that has a two offsets that are 25 millimeters. So if we wanted to move to the corner of that rectangle, we will come in here and say P1 and we will put here point. So remember this is in meters. So we, we will put 0 0.025 and then 0 0.025. And when we say, okay, so now we have our X and our Y at 0.25, 0.25. So if we play this now, we're gonna go to the corner of that rectangle. 